I thought I was the weakest link out of them all. If anything, I, I mean, just the low self-worth, the low value, everything of how I felt, I just felt like crawling into a grave and dying. The Village of Hope is a, it's a structured uh, in-residence program. You know, we work here with men and their families. Uh, the men come live here for 10 months in the program and we go through classroom teachings, uh, very interactive style of teaching where we're dealing with all their hurts and wounds from the past, their attitudes, their character defects and all these kinds of things. Um, but really trying to get to the root issues of why do we go back to drugs? Why would we go back to drinking even though it has caused so much damage uh, in our lives and to our families and the ones we love? continue to work on myself and for the transformation and change. Um, it's, uh, I know that I'm, it's the best place for me right now and I know i got a lot to work on. But. You know, it's, uh, it's a pretty full schedule here. After the classes in the mornings, the guys go to work every day because the work ethic is an important part also of the program uh, to learn how to deal with those issues that arise in those day-to-day -day life situations. Um, like the pressures of a job site, how to work as a team, how to be in relationship with others and work towards a common goal and all those kinds of things. So, um, you know, definitely the work is an important part of the, of the program, but also it helps to provide for them to be here um, because we, we, we are establishing businesses on site where we can produce products and sell those to be able to keep the cost low and make this opportunity available to anyone, uh, whether they have finances or not. Um, but also in the evenings we have different activities and group situations, um, games, sports, all kinds of things like that. But everything that we do really is designed towards the man's development uh, and that takes a 10 month process for them to go through. 200 acres, I mean you, you know there's nothing better than you know relationships and uh, things that are just meaning and I never really had any purpose in life. But now today just knowing what is here and what I have here uh, I believe that the Lord just really opened my eyes to that and uh, it's a true gift and I mean you're under His grace you know to be able to come to a place like this. We work with men um, that are in, in every different uh, aspect of life you know uh, it usually takes a crisis to make us sort of wake up and say I need to make a change. This is the point where I've had enough and I need to do something different in my life and those are usually the kind of people that are ready for the village of hope. And so we meet them sometimes on the streets or sometimes after they've lost everything or sometimes in a prison after they've been arrested or, or awaiting trial or awaiting a court date sentencing and different things like that. And sometimes it's just people that say, look, uh, my family, uh, I'm gonna lose them if I don't come and get help. And if that's you um, and you're watching this video, there is hope. You know, them hurts and pains. We get to work through the things here that I deal with on a regular basis through either the job site or you know just fellowship uh, with the other guys that are here and um, I can you know as these things arise these issues arise I, I'm able to deal with them uh, in a healthy manner in a healthy way it's something that I've never experienced and, uh, that's great. Oftentimes, uh, in drug and alcohol addiction, the worst thing that we could ever believe is that there's no hope for us. Uh, because it's that hope hanging on to it and saying, you know what, I believe that I can do something different. I'm going to do whatever it takes. Um, if you really put in the effort, I believe that, that you can have that success. Um, I was throwing my life away to drugs and alcohol as a teenager, and uh, I never knew that I would be doing what I am today. Um, but I'm very thankful today that God had different plans for me than I had for myself. And uh, it wasn't until I started believing that I started to make a change and started to see God do something in my life. And so I just want to encourage everybody out there to not stop believing, to always believe, to always hang on to hope, because if we don't give up, you will make it.